It, isn't it supposed to be for us, not for us? No, no, no. let me speak my English. For, for us? For us, the NRM. For, for it, it's for, Can you say it again, Daddy? For us, yes. the NRM. Uh, isn't it supposed to be for us, not for us? No, no, no let me speak my English. For, for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, Daddy, mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you, um, what is your what you want to say to the young people about what, what well, and the old people what we should be thinking about the destiny of Africa Africa is, has, is the origin of man all human beings started here four and a half million years ago Africa has, has been the pioneer of civilization the ancient Egyptian civilization and other civilizations, the Ethiopian and the Bantu civilization. Africa has been the, the protector of, of all the modern religions. However, in the last 500 years, Africa has had a bad situation, bad situations. And this has been mainly because of uh, of uh, vertical polarization where group A is not in communication with group B. Group A being one tribe, group B being another tribe. Tribal sectarianism, which was later compounded by religious sectarianism. So therefore, the first thing is to completely banish the ideology of identity politics. This is number one. Number two, to catch up with Europe, because we are now behind Europe with about 600 years. Because yes, all human beings were using muscle power and uh, muscle power of the, of the human being and also of the, of, of the animals like the horses and so on the donkeys, but from about 14 something when Gutenberg, the German invented the printing press, Europe shifted to machine power and intellectual power, while Africa is still, is still with the muscle power. So that metamorphosis must take place, that change, change from, uh, from muscle power to mechanical and intellectual and uh, electronic uh, power, labor. Uh, then the society itself must change, must change from working for the stomach and work for the stomach, the pocket, and also do so with each other, as I say, with the calculation. But you cannot do all this successfully if you do not integrate, if you do not pull the African market together if you do not put the African market together, because the business will not be viable. So therefore, in short, what Africa needs is, number one, transformation. Number two, integration. Number three, anti-sectarianism. And they emphasize interests rather than identity. 